The Chicago Maritime Museum is the new home to a rare collection of paintings. But there's a bit of mystery involved and some fascinating history. Here's CBS 2's Noel Brennan. Chicago's maritime history is Chicago history. Imagine the Chicago River before our time. They're very industrial views. It's smoky, there's industry. In 19th century smoke and smog, an artist sees beauty. James Bolivar Needham. Madeline Crispell, curator of the Chicago Maritime Museum, dug into Needham's story. James Bolivar Needham was born in 1850 in Chatham, Ontario. That's the region of Ontario that was considered the end of most of the routes of the Underground Railroad. Needham was black and worked as a deckhand on Great Lake freighters before settling in Chicago and picking up a paintbrush on the docks. He was a plein air artist, meaning like the French Impressionists, he painted on site. The river was his regular muse, but Needham rarely signed a painting and never made a living off his work. You know, this is a period where it would have been incredibly difficult for a black artist in Chicago to gain the kind of prominence like, say, the white French Albert Fleury was able to gain through very similar subject matter in their paintings. Crispell can't say how many Needham paintings are out there, but she believes she's found five more. These paintings that you see are very representational of his work. A Chicago collector donated the oil paintings that lack signatures but point to Needham. It's this one right here in the center. The artist, who was known to paint on pieces of shipping crate, may have left a clue behind canvas. And at the top, you can see some of the nails that would have originally joined that shipping crate together. All five paintings will debut at the museum next week. We know he had a unique perspective. Celebrating an overlooked artist and overlooked beauty. He may have been able to see the beauty in those scenes that other Chicago artists couldn't. Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News. The new exhibit opens next Thursday at the Chicago Maritime Museum. This spring, the museum will dismantle the frames and inspect the paintings in hopes of proving once and for all they were done by James Boulevard Needham.